I mean, can someone explain it to me? Why, oh why, has my childhood been ruined? I mean, look at this! I mean, that was great, right? <laughs> no, no, look at this. <laughs> I feel you, Jack. I feel you. What went wrong? I'll tell you what went wrong. Writers went wrong. For too long, DC has been the B-list company because Marvel is just better at doing a lot of things, honestly. No longer, I say. So, I'm here to help you little munchkins out and get your crap together and figure out how to fix your stories. And now, how to fix the DC Universe from the point of view of a teenage writer. The greatest thing is, fixing DC isn't that hard to do. Whereas Marvel kinda has more political edges to why it's going the way it's going, DC is the way it is simply because you're terrible at writing. So with these little rules and lists in place, hopefully this will help you know how to write your own characters far better. One of the complaints with DC's characters is, quite frankly, they're too powerful. And in another day I might have argued but, yeah, they're pretty powerful. Ridiculously. So, I've made a class system for how their strength should work and what happens when they go beyond it. Introducing the strength class level system and the act of God rule. Classes of strength. Class 1. Unless you are absolutely dyslexic, class 1 strength is the first stop for our class rating system. I define it basically as Olympic level strength. Like Batman, he's a normal guy, but he's in peak physical condition. So, at his strongest, he might be able to lift up the front end of a car and be cussing out the guy driving in it. So could he knock someone across a room? Pretty easily. Could he flip over said car? Probably not. Class 2. Okay, now we're at Class 2 Strength, which is our first dip into superhuman territory. Basically, Lex Luthor in his God Armor or Our Man could be something like this. The definition for, the, you know, the top brass of this level would probably be actually lifting up the car. And by lifting up, I mean over their heads. Class 3. Class 3 strength basically says, screw the car, I'm lifting up a bus. So now we're about at Hawkman or Martian Manhunter territory. Class 4. Class 4 strength basically says, to hell with the car or the bus, I'm lifting up a tank. So this would be about Wonder Woman or Aquaman territory. Uh, pretty impressive, isn't it? Class 5. Finally, Class 5 marks the strongest individuals in your given universe. If we're looking at Marvel's side, which... Stay over there, kids. The Hulk would kind of be in this category. Obviously, Superman would be the respective person for this universe. What constitutes Class 5 strength is they can lift up the tank, no problem, and if a building were to fall on them, they could actually hold up the side of it with intense struggle. The Act of God Rule So we've laid down the basic strength levels for what these characters can apply themselves to. But what happens if they go too far with their respective power? Well, kids, I came up with something brilliant for that. Introducing now the Act of God Rule. Superpowers are basically like normal muscles in the human body. If you exercise them too, too much, 
consequences will happen. Either you can lose your powers, you can die, or something completely unpredictable happens based on the parameters of how your abilities are explained. Use your cool peeps. Another issue that I have with DC in general is just they have all these really cool characters that don't get a lot of exposure. Like, how many times are you gonna use the Joker instead of other awesome villains like Two-Face or Mr. Freeze or even someone that nobody's really heard of like the Mad Hatter? A lot of the heroes that you can name from DC are either top brass and everyone knows them or no one really knows them. I mean, have you heard of Blue Beetle? And if so, which one? Yeah, exactly. There's three of them. Ever heard of Doctor Fate? No, but I'm sure you've heard of Doctor Strange. He's basically the DC version of that. Except he's awesome. What about the Creeper? And no, I don't mean the Scooby-Doo villain. I mean the reporter that was turned into an anti-hero after being exposed to the Joker's chemicals. No? Yeah, because nobody uses them. I mean... Come on, DC. Or can I just call you detective now that we've broken the ice? All these characters are just collecting dust. Use them, please, and use them tastefully. Make characters likable again. On that same note, make characters likable again. Like, even Superman, who's supposed to be this god-level character, the whole thing about him is that he's supposed to be a symbol of hope and a representation of what human beings can be. Hence his nickname, The Man of Tomorrow. Or Batman. Even though he's dark and gritty and definitely a vigilante, he's still captivating and he should still have elements that people can look at these characters and associate with them somehow. Theoretically, you can make any fictional character likable. Okay, I stand corrected on that one. The point is, if these are supposed to be sympathetic villains that we feel bad for, or the saviors of a given universe, shouldn't they at least have something alluring about them that we can attach ourselves to as fans? Aquaman. Well, I don't really know what to improve. Namor? Bane. Stop using the tubes. The time of him being a Mexican drug lord whatever is far from over. Christopher Nolan had it right, actually. And I don't care if you don't understand what it is he is saying. It is the movements that are important in the darkness. Batman. Michael Keaton? Superman. Oh, Jesus Christ. The Flash. Once again, he's too powerful. Running so hard, so fast, you can go back in time. Act of God rule, immediately. Green Arrow. I... Okay, but with Superman. Harley Quinn. DC. Harley Quinn is not a feminist icon. She isn't the answer to Deadpool. She is a living cartoon character. Where do you have an answer to Deadpool? His name is Lobo. The Joker. Just... just stop. Stop using him all the time. Wonder Woman. With the route that they're taking right now, Wonder Woman's actually okay. Just... don't make her too powerful. Blue Beetle. Use him. Hawkman. Use him. Martian Manhunter. For everything that is holy, use him! Well... Thank you all so much for listening to my rant. If you want to see a bigger, more data-oriented version of this, you can find it at my YouTube channel, Briachi Swag. The link will be in the actual video. Here is the link to Briachi Swag's greatest YouTube channel on Earth. Superman sucks. And remember, flying around the Earth so fast you turn back time is the dumbest thing ever. Super.